I literally almost fell out of my chair when I saw what was in the December PWCC premiere auction ending on Thursday, December 21st. You guys are not going to believe this murderer's row of Tier 1 Jordan Grail. It's like Tier 1 of Tier 1 for Michael Jordan collectors. You guys have got to watch the end of this video. Watch what is at the very top already. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Let me know if you're bidding on any of these. Comment below. Let us know. We all want to know what's going on, what the move is, and uh, and give us your thoughts on these cards. So, uh, so comment below. Let us know what you've got your eye on and what you can't wait to see what it ends at. Thanks for watching. PWCC is a great way to sell your sports cards. If you're looking for a way to support the Cajun Cardboard YouTube channel, consider using the promo code CAJUN, all caps, C-A-J-U-N, when you're selling your cards on the PWCC marketplace. Hey guys, Brian with Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana. Let's take a look at the 26 basketball cards that are in the PWCC December Premier Auction. I was talking with Chris from Card Ladder and uh, a couple things, a couple thoughts came to mind. Number one, I was surprised at some of these absolute Jordan Grails that are coming to market in December. Usually December's for NFL football, you know, card purchases. Uh, it is for uh, prospecting because the NBA just got started and people are starting to find their way. The Tyrese Halliburtons, the Tyrese Maxis and stuff like that. Uh, usually you don't see goat sales like this, like you're about to see on the top row. You're talking about three tier one Jordan Grails on the top that we're going to look at in just a second. And then we also like the fact that there's only 26 cards now. It's a digestible figure. It's a small number which a lot of people are like well there's it's dying it's dying no it's not it just means there's going to be more eyeballs more money to go around uh, I like the number 26 it's better than the number 80 or some of the numbers that we were seeing back in 2021 when the prices of cards were running rampant and organically and so uh, let's get a look at these 26 before we start there's two things I wanted to remind you of number one if you want to support the Cajun Cardboard channel and you like these previews you like the recaps every single Monday morning of the PWCC weekly auction and every Friday after these PWCC Premier auctions end and just generally the rest of the consistent commercial free content you get on the channel, consider going into the YouTube description and clicking the PayPal link and making a donation. I don't charge a subscription fee. Uh, I'm as consistent as it gets. That's the one thing I can beat my chest on is I'm about as consistent as it gets. You're looking at seven to 10 videos a week on the Cajun Cardboard YouTube channel. There's not many people out there in the actual sports card collecting world that can say that. Some people like it, some people hate it, but you can't fault me. I am consistent at the very least. Um, and so hit that PayPal donation link. Anything you think is fair, just consider that your voluntary monthly subscription fee. No Patreon, uh, no price gouging, nothing like that. You're not going to see any Cialis or Viagra ads in the middle of my videos, I don't think. If you do, somebody let me know in the comments, but you shouldn't because I don't take the YouTube money. I'm relying on the people that watch this channel to support it. The other way you can support support the channel is go into the YouTube description of this very video. If you're thinking of buying, nobody's ever used my affiliate link to buy a card on the PWCC Premier Auction. It's never happened. I just now recently affiliated with PWCC. I'd really like somebody to use my affiliate link to buy a card in the PWCC Premier uh, Auction. It's never been done. And so uh, anybody out there who's considering bidding on any of these 26 monsters that we're about to take a look at, just consider going through my affiliate link, which is located conveniently in uh, in this video in the description you can't miss it it's real simple you just click that and then you go do your bidding and then you're set uh, another way to do it is you can find me on Instagram and it's in my Instagram uh, description page or my bio page on Instagram as well all right let's get to the the business of the day uh, the first card we're gonna look at should not be a stranger to anybody who's used to high-end basketball if you're new to the hobby you're probably wondering who the hell is Johnny Moore he's actually a pretty good player uh, past first point guard for the uh, San Antonio Spurs back in the 80s. Uh, he is uh, very famous amongst 86 Fleer collectors because his card is the second lowest PSA 10 population, but this card's been on a death march downward lately, believe it or not. Really bad. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see where this one goes. Looks like a clean PSA 10 copy. Next to that, we've got in 2003 SP Authentic Signatures Michael Jordan. It is a PSA 10, making it a Pop 12 card. It's on card auto. It's filthy to say the least. The first triple logo man of the auction. It's a one of one. It's an all in 
NBA access, exquisite. It's from 2007. It's Chris Paul, it's Brandon Roy, and it's Kevin Durant. You know, Brandon Roy, career over too soon with the degenerative knee conditions, but he was an absolute animal. He was an absolute beast, an all-star, and was going to be a perennial all-NBA guy, uh, but uh, degenerative knees kept him out. But triple logo man right there, if that floats your boat, PGS 8.5, but who really gives a damn? It's authentic. It's in the slab. It's not been tampered with. That's really all that anybody cares about. Next to that, we've got a Zion card. It's a black disco. This is a rookie. Select concourse black disco, one of one. Uh, next to that, and, and by the way, guys, yeah, when I do these previews, I never talk about what the current bid is at because it doesn't matter. Uh, I guess I should have said this. This auction ends in one week and six days. So what is today? Today is the 8th, 7th. 14th. It ends on the 21st. So this auction will end on the evening of Thursday the 21st. That's when extended bidding will kick in. And uh, I will obviously have a PWCC premiere recap of all 26 cards on Friday, December 22nd as a Christmas present for you guys. As always, you can always count on that the next morning. Uh, 2019 National Treasures logo auto uh, Kevin Durant on card one of one. Obviously 1725. The 10 for, for the autograph. The card's graded authentic. Uh, a Giannis 2013 Immaculate. This is the premium gold parallel. So that means it's serial number to only 10. It's a BGS 9. It is the highest grade. There are no higher BGS graded copies. And my God, what a patch. That is a very nice looking patch with little skinny Giannis. Even a dude with skinny arms back then, his arms were still shredded. I'm so jealous. I wish I could be, uh, I guess, how old was Giannis in this picture? Maybe 20, 21? I wish I could be 21 again so I could have great arms again, but uh, my days are gone. Uh, 1750 right now. Uh, LeBron KD dual patch auto serial number to only five. Uh, a Jordan, I love these. I love the cards where the autograph is actually on the fabric, especially when it's silver sharpie on a darker color. And this is like a dark, nice deep dark red. It's a 2006 exquisite collection scripted Michael Jordan patch auto. It's serial numbered to 25. It is a mixed gem 9.5. What a card right there. So if you're looking for Jordan autos, you've come to the right place. The 2018 Panini Optic Gold Autograph. This is no disco gold. This is no gold choice. This is true gold. Uh, Luca is extremely happy in this picture. It is a sticker auto. No way around that, but it is from Donruss Optic. It's the gold autograph. It's a one of one, obviously, uh, in a PSA 10 slab, and it's uh, it's at 2300 right now. It'll be interesting to see where that goes in the face of of declining Luka Doncic prices down 54% over the last year on the card ladder index Luka Doncic cards as a whole uh, 1998 sh uh, Skybox Molten Metal. This is the Fusion, not just the Fusion, this is the Fusion Titanium. So this is the die cut to 40, right? Uh, the face over here on the right of Shaq is die cut. The numerator of and the, and the denominator is also die cut. It's 16 of 40. This is a special Shaq card. Uh, I know my good friend David Owens is going to definitely have his eye on this card as he's pushing further into the Shaquille O'Neal collecting market, Riverfront Collectibles. David, I know you got to see this card. I'll make sure I send it to you on Instagram so you know it's out there. That's going to be a big sale right there. That is a very big, that's a tier one card, no matter who your player is from the 90s. That's a top 10, top 15 type card in existence, excluding the one-on-one masterpieces. That's like a top 10 card in existence for any player from the 90s, at least in my personal opinion. Comment below if you think I'm crazy. Uh, right next to that, speaking of top 10, top 15 caliber cards, uh, this is a, you know, obviously it's you know, probably one of the four most collectible, probably one of the three most collected uh, basketball players in the world behind LeBron and uh, Jordan, of course. This is the 97 EX 2001 Essential Credentials Future Kobe Bryant. This one is serial numbered to 73. It's a, it's a BGS 8.5 copy uh, with a nine centering and eight edges. Love the Essential Credentials Future. That won't be the last one you see on this video. Keep uh, watching. A 2003 SP Authentic LeBron autograph. This is the SP limited copy. So this is serial number to only 50. This is that SP limited parallel. Uh, that's a PSA 10 making it a pop 10 LeBron uh, autograph rookie right there. Speaking of on uh, LeBron on card autograph rookies, an ultimate collection. Uh, this is serial number 250. It's a BGS 9.5 mixed gem and it is a 10 for the autograph. Next to that, we've got a star 101 PSA 8. PSA 8 is a big number, right, for the star 101. It's real tough. The conversion table, I think, 
surprised a lot of people. If you're a PMG collector, you understand it. But, uh, you know, the conversion table, when PSA opened the grading to the Star 101s and the other Star cards that are now within their purview that they will, in fact, grade, I think a lot of people thought they were going to cross their BGS 8.5s to PSA 8.5s, and shit ain't happening that way. So uh, to get a PSA 8 is a rare, uh, a rare trick indeed. I don't know what the pop is. You guys can look it up on your own time, but it's not high. Let's put it that way. Uh, next to that, we've got a 2003 Topps Chrome Refractor LeBron PSA 10, uh, and then a Tim Duncan Masterpieces, right? And this is where we go to those cards that are just like lurking in the shadows, swimming in the swimming in deeper waters that you may not ever, ever, ever come across. This is the type of card, uh, and again, I don't collect Tim Duncan. I have no dog in this hunt, but this is the type of card, and he, he just happens to be being contested sort of by uh, the great Shaquille O'Neal. What a card. What an image uh, for the greatest power forward that ever lived, period, end of story. Uh, Tim Duncan, 1998, Ultra Masterpieces, one of one. Who gives a damn about the grade when you're looking at a card like that? Wow. Uh, 2002 Finest Gold Refractor White Suit LeBron, his pre-rookie card. This is serial number one out of 25, so math nerds can rejoice. Uh, it is card number 178. It is gold. It is serial number 25. It's weird. You know, I know some gold chromes are serial number 50. Gold prism serial number 10. This finest gold serial number 25. So keeping track of that has always kind of eluded me. I'm not really an expert on that stuff. 25 is not a big number. Uh, it is a pop one, just two graded higher. So uh, big, big, big LeBron card right there. LeBron's playing out of his freaking 40-year-old mind this year, by the way, in case you haven't been paying attention. And then we get to a, a super scarce card, especially uh, you know primarily due to the grade. It's a rare card, uh, rare enough indeed already as a difficult pack odds card. Uh, and then uh, you know the intricate die cuts make it just almost uh, Im impossible to grade. So a PSA 10, this is the Z Pete parallel of the BMOC from 1996 Skybox Z Force. This is a pop eight card. Uh, right next to that, we've got another LeBron refractor, but this one hits a little different. It's a black label, which you won't see very often because there's only four in the world. And it's at uh, 13.5 right now. And again, remember all these prices are before the 20% buyer's premium. Uh, the 2017, this is a, just a beautiful copy of a Jason Tatum National Treasures. It's a min gem with a nine for the surface, but everybody who's ever tried to grade these National Treasures thick patch cards, they know it's just, it's really tough because it, you don't really have four corners. You kind of have eight corners because the card's so thick that the quarter can get damaged on the front corner or the back corner on the same corner. So it's just really tough. The cards are so damn big and we love that about them, but it just makes them so miserable to grade. Uh, this serial number to 99 True RPA, Jason Tatum on card is a uh, is a big time card uh, and he's putting his hat in the ring for MVP as well if the Celtics you know as expected end up having the best record in the NBA or close to it he's certainly going to be in the conversation and it won't be the last year that he's in the conversation be hard for anybody to outdo what Jokic is doing but you know how it is with voter fatigue you never know uh, Jordan exquisite noble nameplates again number one out of 25 really great looking patch here 8.5 a Jordan LeBron dual autograph serial number to 25 this is the 2003 Upper Deck Legends throwback, which means what 2003 that is LeBron's rookie year so it's a LeBron rookie auto with a Jordan auto serial number to 25 in a gem slab with a perfect 10 autograph grade that makes it a pretty important card uh, a foundational piece in many 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 collections let's see where this one ends up uh, and then a Steph Curry serial number to 99 uh, National Treasures patch auto this is a BGS 9 with a 10 for the auto. That's going to do a massive number. There's no question about that. And then we get to Murderer's Row, the top three, which not coincidentally is Jordan, Jordan, and uh, Jeffrey, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Uh, I don't know if it's going to finish in this order. In fact, I would suspect it will not. I would suspect we will go uh, Championship PMG 1. We will go uh, Star Rubies 2. We will go Essential Credentials 3. That's my suspicion. That's just me with no dog in this hunt. Uh, the Essential Credentials um, Future is serial number 272, one less than the Kobe that we just looked at. And this is a pop five with only one higher graded. And eight is a really good grade for these cards. I recently got a base uh, raw set, a complete set of these base cards. Not the Credentials Future set, but like, I'm not Spinatron, but I, had, I looked at a base set and the cards had scuffs all over the acetate portion. These cards are really tough to grade, believe it or not. Uh, but this card's at 46 without the buyer's premium. 
so that puts it at right you know just shy of 60 grand not that it matters because this is going well into the six figures same thing with the 97 metal universe championship this is going to go over 200,000 I'd be shocked if it doesn't go over 200,000 this is a BGS 9 copy that makes it a pop 7 with only one higher graded one higher graded BGS copy than this one and it is a serial number 250 of course there's four PMGs out there for uh, most players true PMGs you know, you got the 97 green, you got the 97 red, you got this 97 championship, Metal Universe Championship, which came out next. And then you've got the 98 PMGs, which people call the gold PMGs, but really they're just the 98 PMGs. And then to the left and leading the way so far is a 1998 Skybox Premium Star Rubies Jordan PSA 8. What a card this is. Serial number to 50, serial number to 50, serial number to 72. Uh, the Star Rubies have been making a push lately. A lot of really impressive sales, including a recent 90,000 plus uh, sale of the Team Skybox Star Rubies PSA 8 in a golden auction. And I think there's another Star Rubies, Team Skybox Star Rubies uh, at auction right now and I can't remember where that auction is going either. Uh, but Star Rubies have been uh, a topic of discussion lately about which one's the best, which one looks the best, which one's worth the most, stuff like that. So this is the 98 Skybox Premium Star Rubies, serial number 50. It's a pop two, just three higher graded than the one that you're looking at on the screen. So that does it. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan at the top and those uh, those cards, I got to believe, are going to finish one, two, and three. Steph may sneak in there, and then some um, 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 uh, other amazing, just fantastic cards. Only 26 cards. I like it. We got through this video in freaking 15 minutes, which is unusual uh, in comparison back to 2022 and even more so in 2021 where there was just a lot of cards in here and some cards that honestly didn't belong. I didn't see any imposters in here. I think these cards are all going to do really well. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think about these 26 cards. Which ones stand out to you? What do you think is going to happen with these three absolute clear-cut tier one hierarchy Jordan cards uh, in the top row? That is going to be interesting to watch. I'll be watching from the sidelines. I'm not attacking any of these cards at the moment, uh, but it will be fun to watch them and see where they end up and uh, and who ends up winning them. So uh, if you're bidding on any of these cards, uh, don't tell anybody in the comments, but if you are bidding on the cards, if you don't mind, if you would love to contribute to the channel and make sure that everything keeps going hunky-dory and I can actually get better at this and improve the audio visual and maybe hire somebody to, uh, to come in and kind of ratchet the quality of my videos up a notch because right now I'm just a dude in Louisiana screaming at a television screen and a little box in the corner when I screen share that's really all I got going for me the contents kind of uh, propagating everything I would like to make it nice and fancy like some of the other content creators but I'd have to hire somebody who's young and smart to do that but if you're considering supporting the channel there's a couple ways just go into my YouTube description and, uh, and give it some consideration another way is to uh, is to shop at homage.com h-o-m-a-g-e.com just make sure you use my similar to the PW WCC affiliate link. I have an affiliate link to homage.com and they've actually just released some retro NBA starter jackets that you guys have to check out. They're in limited quantity, limited supply. I don't know if they're serial numbered, but they're in limited print run and so they will run out, but they're the old school retro NBA licensed starter jackets and they're freaking awesome, right? Uh, it used to be that only gang members could wear them, but now I think normal people can wear those as well. So y'all go check out the starter jackets uh, through the Cajun Cardboard homage.com affiliate link that's located in my YouTube description. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully uh, you guys are going to get this on a Friday. So I hope you all have a fantastic weekend in the hobby. If you like what I'm doing on the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. It helps me out. You know what else helps me is the like button and the bell icon for notifications. Uh, that really helps with YouTube. Apparently uh, I need to get better at asking people to do that. I don't really do it. I'm not good at it. I'm not consistent, but this is my call to action. So I'm asking you guys to do me a favor. And if you listen to the whole video and you're still listening to me blab on and on please hit the like button hit the bell icon so you know when new stuff comes out thank you guys for watching keep collecting stay positive in the hobby have a great weekend and peace